Well, hey there, my friend. It's Miriam Shulman here with Alice Neal, People Come First. I'm so excited you're here today. Let's get started. First, I just want to introduce myself really quick. I'm Miriam Shulman. Nice to meet you. I've been a professional artist for about 20 years, and I'm the founder of The Inspiration Place, an online art class site where I teach people how to paint in watercolor and mixed media. And I'm the founder of The Inspiration Place podcast. Today, I want to introduce you to the art of Alice Neal, who the art world can no longer ignore. And I just want to make sure everyone can hear me. So give me a thumbs up in the comments to let me know that you're here so I can see you and let me know where you're from. And then we can move ahead. All right, so she currently has a blockbuster exhibition at the Metropolitan Museum of Art and it's up until August 1st of this year. It's, I heard by the way that it's moving, I think I heard it's moving to San Francisco, is that right? And then Spain, so it's on tour, but it's more, most exciting if you go to New York to see it. If you can't go to New York, that's why we're here today. I wanna share with you the highlights. All right, so Alice Neal was a portrait painter. She painted her friends, her sons, her lovers, strangers, activists, cultural kings. By the way, this is a portrait of Andy Warhol made very vulnerable, not the kind of Andy Warhol portrait you would normally see. Drag queens, and this is a, a painting of Jackie Curtis, who was really well known in 1970, and she painted him twice, actually, once in drag, and there's another painting hanging in the same gallery where he's painted just not in drag, just in his street clothes. She painted the magical, the lost and damned, and in keyed up harmonies of color. And I also want you to notice the way she outlined people in electric blue and that made each individual vibrate. This is her self-portrait, kind of like her Gertrude Stein moment where she looks monumental sitting in her ubiquitous blue striped chair. Now, what I found very inspiring about her, when you read her biography, it was said that her own mother said to her, I don't know what you expect to do in the world. You're only a girl. She was born in 1900. Although we can say that some of this anti-feminism is still around today. And here's what she had to say about that. She was determined to prove them wrong. This made me more ambitious because I think, you know, I'll show them. I'll show her. I'll show everybody. Neil attended what was then called the Philadelphia School of Design for Women and now the Moore College of Art and Design. She was a civil rights activist and sometimes communist. She did lose a child and she painted this really haunting painting that they, don't, when, they when you go into the Metropolitan Museum, they have it kind of around the corner. And I think they did that just so that every child who goes in the exhibition doesn't isn't confronted by it. It's kind of like in this alcove. This was painted about a story that she had read in the news about a child who had strangled themselves in the in their crib bars. Her next child was taken away from her by her ex-husband. This is Isabetta. And then she had two more children. Uh, this painting of Well Baby Clinic really shows how the poverty in some of the areas she lived in and the um, really the unhumanity of uh, the way some of the, uh, the women had to deal with um, giving birth in hospitals under these conditions, all the people in one room. Now, this painting was one of my favorites from the exhibition. She raised two children as a single mother and she never gave up painting. So what I love about this particular painting, this is a painting of her son. And what you see is that she's in her apartment. She is a mother. And you see in the mirror, 
behind on the upper left hand corner you see in the mirror that is kind of a self portrait of the artist painting her child so it shows how she incorporated motherhood with being an artist she was ignored throughout most of her career because during the time that she painted, the art world was focused on abstract expressionism. Here is a painting by de Kooning. The other paintings that were pop, uh, painters who were popular at that time would include Helen Frankenthaler. Now, it was a therapist who suggested that she start painting her art world friends, which she did. That's how we have the paintings of Andy Warhol and many famous art critics she painted, which really helped her career. In 1974, at the age of 74, Neil had a retrospective at the Whitney Museum, which is a really big deal for a living artist. What I love most about Neil are her unsentimental portraits of mothers and children. Her paintings of pregnant women, her radical paintings of women in childbirth, and woman nursing. I broke all the rules, she said. All right, so now I wanna hear from you. Are you feeling inspired to paint people? Let me know what you thought of Alice Neal in the comments is that, are you all inspired up now? I've got a great resource for you. It's my complete watercolor supply list for portraits. So this is for watercolorists who want to paint portraits. Do you want it? Let me know in the chat. All righty. I'm not gonna keep you back any longer. For the free download, go to shulmanart.com forward slash supplies and you can download your own water, free watercolor supply list. Okay, so I just want to see if there's anything you guys want to share. Okay, Eric says he's very inspired. If you want to share your takeaways or if you have any questions, I would love to um, answer them now. I'll give you just a moment before we wrap up. And really going to New York City to see an exhibition is so exciting. And right now, they there. I heard the Met is at limited capacity. I think they're letting in maybe 25% capacity. They're not quite up to 50% yet. So if you can get a time ticket, definitely go. I have a membership, which means I can go anytime I want, which is definitely worth it. And because of the time tickets and the limited capacity, um, it's kind of nice to go to museums these days. You're not jostling so close to other people. Okay, so I'm glad people were inspired. And I'm just going to thank everybody for being with me here today. Thank you so much. I hope this inspired you to be creative today. Bye, everybody.